In Turkey, there's been a terror attack in the heart of the tourist district of Istanbul. At least eight German visitors were killed and several other foreigners injured. The Turkish Prime Minister says militants loyal to the so-called Islamic State were behind the attack. With me now is Ibrahim Dogus, director of the Centre for Turkey Studies, which is a UK-based public policy forum. Good evening to you. Well, shocking business right in the middle of Istanbul and aimed right at tourists. This is a very bad day for Turkey, isn't it? It is indeed, and this is not the first time Islamic State is striking in Turkey. Within the last one year or so, this is the third suicide attack against Turkey, two of them being against mainly um, people opposing the current government in Turkey, one in Suruç, where over 35 young men and women were killed, then in Ankara back in October, in a, uh, they, they've targeted a peace rally where they killed over 120 people. Um, today, they've striked in Istanbul, um, the heartland um, of Turkish, it's an economical capital of Turkey, and they've targeted the touristic area of uh, Istanbul, which is Sultan Ahmet. And uh, therefore striking right at the heart of the Turkish economy, obviously. They are indeed. I mean, um, Turkey um, has the resources to stop Islamic State from having any sort of impact both within Turkey but also in the neighboring countries. But I think uh, the, the allocation of those resources is not done properly in Turkey. Turkey has seemed to be more interested in targeting Kurdish uh, forces uh, rather than um, Islamic State, um, gr groups like is Islamic State. And for those who are very easy to forget all the sort of shifting alliances, but the, but the Kurds, of course, very much against Islamic State. Um, so it is a very complicated picture, isn't it? I mean, it, it, is, it sounds complicated, but for countries like Turkey, it should be straightforward. K Turkey has historical relations with Kurds. There are over 20 million Kurds living within Turkey. Turkey's best neighbor is Iraqi Kurdistan, where there are 6 million Kurds living. But Turkey had a problem with Syrian uh, when it comes to Syrian issue. Priority for Turkey has always um, been toppling Bashar Assad's regime and then preventing Kurds from gaining any sort of um, autonomous region or status within Syrian borders. Therefore, Turkey has, in a way, um, allegedly allowed Islamic State to use its territory to cross um, into Syria, uh, its fighters or its weapons and its financial uh, needs and so on. So Turkey could have done better by building a very positive relationship with the Kurds, both in Syria but also within Turkey. Now we see a conflict in southeast of Turkey, in the Kurdish region of Turkey. Um, over seven, eight cities are under siege. There are curfews. Um, civilians are getting killed on a regular basis. But you know, and resources, all the power is concentrated on preventing Kurdish um, gains in a way, both in Turkey but also in Syria. Do you think this sort of incident, you, t you talked about all the others that there have been, but do you think this incident might be the turning point? Might this lead to a change in the way Turkey behaves? I mean, or do you see no sign of that? I think it's, it's difficult. I mean, um, Turkey was reluctant to play a strong role against Islamic State for a while. I mean, then uh, with the pressure from the international community, Turkey has decided to allow US um, to use Angel Air, Air Base to carry out attacks against, against Islamic State in Syria and in Iraq. So uh, there is a shift of um, uh, policy here, but um, I'm not yet that optimist that Turkey will concentrate its 100% of its sources um, against Islamic State. Rather, uh, they'll try to crush Kurdish aspirations in Turkey and Syria before they actually find time to deal with Islamic State. Ibrahim Douglas, thank you very much indeed. Thank for you very us. much.